Good everyone, Andrew here, Real 4x4 Adventures, coming to you from the side of my car. Uh, today I'm going to revisit my XTM 2.5m by 2.5m awning. So I've now had it in the car for near on, near on two years. Uh, now, the car is parked outside, as you can possibly see by my paint fade there. So it's been sitting out in the elements. And in fairness, the bag has held up pretty well, I think. Um, now, if you've seen my original video with this, uh, I took a while to get onto the, the whole awning thing. Now, I don't use the awning super regularly. Um, I don't use it to have a swag underneath, so I'm not focusing on the on how waterproof it is or anything like that. It's purely for me. Um, shade on the beach camping during setup during pack down uh, and again it doesn't get huge amounts of regular use uh, I paid from memory I think it was about $149 uh, so for $149 it's pretty hard to go wrong again this one's a two and a half by two and a half meters uh, for me I think it's the the perfect size that's 100 series cruiser or 105 series cruiser I've got a, a three-quarter rack so we'll have a look here that's the end of the rack I've actually got it fastened let me just jump up oh, yeah. I've actually got it fastened to the to the actual rack itself it did come with with three little brackets but I did not use them so, so what I'm going to do I'm going to pop this out and have a look but I'm also going to talk about a couple of the accessories and other bits and pieces that I have so what comes with it here I'll touch on this in the other video they weren't included, they're, they're extra. I've got, we've got some ropes, a little bag, and some basic little pegs. Um, I generally use them on the beach, so I've got these. I actually have a couple of extras in my rear drawers there. Um, it comes with the two ropes. I've got four ropes now in total, and I've got a number of these sand pegs there, so I've got, a, actually got another four or so in there, but uh, you just need four when using it. And I also have with it the... from Kings actually they've got little sandbags that you fill up and can put it under the feet as well. Um, some other accessories I've got um, these Yakima Skyhooks I recently purchased, so I still attach her, I haven't actually used them. They reckon that they hold up to 20 kilos each, and they've got here to go on the little sailing track. So uh, I haven't used them yet, but I thought for this video. Um, we'll have a look at those being used on it. Um, I've got my hardcore light strip, which again has a um, one of the little sail track connections there, but also can be held on via Velcro. And then I also actually just got this, haven't actually used it out, so I thought for this video we'd have a little look at this universal bag from Kings. So, so I'm going to do, I'm going to pop the bag out and we'll have a little bit of a look on what I like about it, what I don't so much like about it, uh, and how I found it. Back in a second. Okay, now before I actually put it out, I've just unzipped it. Um, it's a reasonably durable zipper. Um, I just thought I'd show you what it looks like here for those that, that haven't seen one here. So you've got the awning strapped in there. Straps, you've got three of the Velcro straps and they just, you just undo those. One, two, and three. And that will start to fall in a moment. Um, you can see there, again, it's always out in the elements. There's no hint of mould or anything. So the bag is quite effective in that regard. Uh, you've got here some instructions there if you really need it. Some information there on care and maintenance. And what it is, a two and a half metre by two and a half metre awning. All right, I'm going to set this up and then we'll talk a bit more about it. All right, so there it is all set up. It's actually not pegged down at all. Um, so look, the a few things here. The material, it's a 170 GSM polyester fabric. Uh, again, I think I paid 149. You've seen them even as cheap as $99. Uh, so there are ones that are made with better materials. And if you're looking to have it as a, as a serious shelter that you've got your swag and stuff under and you want it to be all weather, then do your homework there and decide whether it will be enough for you but again for for us it's been absolutely amazing uh, 
in ours is more about shade at the beach, shade when we're setting up camp, shade when we're packing up camp. Uh, they're the main things. So, a couple of tips. So when, when you open it up, uh, roll, it rolls out. You've got the side bars here, which go back along here. And the other one, back across the top here. You swivel the post down. They sit up in the tracks up here when you're unraveling it. So you bring them down, bring those out. Uh, at the beach, sometimes you'll see people that don't take the time to Velcro up here. I haven't done a last one, but this is just for a video. Uh, and the wind gets in there and it blows around and it looks kind of funny. So make sure you always use all the Velcros. Um, you've got one of these sail tracks here. Now I've actually set up my hardcore light strip. I've got another video if you want to have a look at a few more details on that. It's not connected, but from here I can have it set up coming through the boot of the car if the boot's open, boot is open, all through um, the side here, or I've got a, a little battery box that I can have somewhere else as well. So the sailing track there is, is definitely very usable. Um, look, with the light strip here, it also has Velcros and one of these clips, so you can attach it a, a range of ways. You could use the Velcros that are on this light strip on this bar up here if you wanted. Um, the little king's bag here. It's actually pretty handy. So you've got another sail track at the front here. And so I've got my King's Little Universal bag here. Uh, again, you can put a few items that are accessible. You can have it on the one at the car. Uh, there are the clips here, so you can clip them to the sides. So that is actually a really cool accessory for, for an awning. Uh, I'm really glad I got that. I only just got it, so can't give you too much more feedback on it at this stage, um, but I'm really happy with that. And then I've got these little clips here. So Yakima, there's a set of four of them. Um, and they're apparently rated to 20 kilos, so the four you could have two on the front track, two on the back track, or however you wanted to do to have things on there. Um, as part of the awning, you've got little ropes here uh, for your for your tie points there uh, to attach if you want to peg it out. Uh, again, on a, on a on a clear day with no wind on the beach, hey, that that's going to do fine. Um, they are made pretty pretty lightweight. Again, they don't want them to be too heavy being on the side of your car. Uh, and if you watch my other video, I'm in the wrong section here, when I first, one of the times when I tried to set it up, tried to do it by myself and there was a gust of wind and it blew and, and bent that up. Um, I've used it plenty of times since and it hasn't been an issue. I very rarely do it by myself uh, unless the weather is very favorable. Uh, but yeah, you know, I bent both of them a little bit, but again, that hasn't impacted the, the functionality of it. So that's the XTM, two and a half meter by two and a half meter awning. I've had it for nearly two years. Again, it's not something that I use every week by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, I have used it a, a fair bit in that two years, predominantly on beach. You know, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't have a gazebo, on, I don't, sorry, I don't have a swag underneath that I'm sleeping and it's fully uh, dependent on, on me staying dry. Uh, it's more about some shade from the sun uh, when on the beach, when setting up, when packing up camp, uh, maybe to protect from a little bit of drizzle, but I've never done that. It's only ever really been um, in the dry conditions and more about shade. Legs are fully adjustable, so if you were going to have it in, uh, in some rougher weather, you could have it down a lot lower, so you can tie it down and, and water would fall straight off. Um, the car there, it's got a two inch in the front uh near on three inch in the back and it's it's up there pretty high so the legs should work for most people and, and their different four-wheel drive setups uh, again i'm nearly six foot and i'm easily walking underneath this so no dramas there at all uh yeah so look for for what you pay i i think they're great some people bag on them uh but it depends on what what they want to use them for uh, and obviously their experience but for me uh, focused on shade i've found it to be great i highly recommend you can only just got these but i'm i saw them and i was yep need to get them uh, these little yakima clips a great accessory i'm sure there's a few other options you can get but this king's bag here uh, came with um, recovery tracks bag uh, and this for, for 40 dollars so I'm assuming they retail by themselves for something around $20. Uh, 
Um, really handy to have a few bits and pieces there. Um, and again, you can use it on, on other bits and pieces at the sail track. Um, and then obviously my light strip there. So you have both the sailing tracks there to use. And yeah, so look, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions, make sure you, you pop them down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. But yeah, thanks for watching. That's the XTM 2.5 meter by 2.5 meter awning. Uh, and for my uses, I'm really happy with it. Thanks a lot.